Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you my haul from the Curve Fashion Festival. Um, I'm actually only bringing you the clothing haul because it's a try on haul. There are th three different brands I think involved in this. Four, there's four. So the, the first thing I'll bring you actually, if you had a VIP ticket, they gave you a goodie bag full of stuff, which I will talk about um, in a coming video if I can find the goodie bag, because I think Claire may have already put it away. So if she has, I'm sorry. Um, but one of the things that you got was a free pair of snag tights. You went over to the stall, showed them the voucher, and they gave you a free pair. So I already have quite a lot of snag tights, but I didn't have this beautiful green pair. So let me just quickly tell you about them. Snag Tights are a company that provide a service to people like me that have a large bottom and small ankles and have been stressed buying tights for the whole of their lives, basically. Um, they cater for any size, any height, mainly. I mean, obviously not everything, um, but they're just so good. The tights fit they feel comfortable you can wash them and wash them and wash them and they because they're quite thick i'll just show you you don't feel like you're going to put a hole in them it's like wearing leggings with feet oh she says with her rings hold on I'll take that off um so i'll just show you the thickness they're 80 denier i think so you can just see through them but they're nice and thick, they're really stretchy. I mean, they've got so much stretch. They fit over my bottom and they come right up to my bra. Um, I do get a tiny bit of sagging around the ankles, but not as much. And I just need to pull them up basically um, because I'm probably just messing around. I think now I have every color. I'm gonna get and I'm gonna purchase the um fishnets to go over the tights because i've seen that it looks really good um jelly with a belly or kelly if you might know her as she put a picture up with them on and everybody's gone crazy for it so absolutely love those so that was the first thing um we then ventured i won't show you those on <laughs> we then ventured to some of the stalls and some of them were so so busy um, Shein was just out of this world busy but next to it was the Shop Matalan, Matalan stall and it had the Papaya Curve range and they had a massive amount of the range there they had two changing rooms and I think it really caught my eye because the actual items were very autumnal and they looked much more my style um, you know pretty little thing were there Miss Pap was there, Nasty Gal was there, and admittedly, that isn't my style, not because it's a bad thing, it just isn't what I wear. I work in an office, and most of my clothes are office work clothes, and if they're not office work clothes, they're pyjamas, because I'm so tired. Um, I have a very few going out dresses, and actually, some of my work dresses double up as going out, I can just glitz them up, so that is how my wardrobe functions. So... I saw a few things that I really liked and I tried them on and I'm really glad I did. Um, so the first thing I tried on was this dress. Um, it's a spotted, black spotted dress with elastic. I'll show you it on um, in just a second but this is a size 26 when i tried it on i tried on a 28 and it was too big so i will show you this on it's a black dress with red scattered scattered spots it's got elastic here elastic around the cuffs which makes it really comfortable it's quite loose around the bust which is because i haven't got a massive bust so if you're bigger around the bus, this is going to fit really nicely. This is a size 26. I tried the 28, it was far too big on the top for me. If I'd have gone any smaller though, I don't think this would have fit the same. So quite happy that I went with the 26. 
Um, I would wear a belt with this. I've got some little belts somewhere, but in the move, I've just no idea where they've gone. So I would definitely wear a belt. I'll just show you the neckline. It's like um, a slit, slit neckline. So quite high, which is good because I've got this little, it's not a mole. <laughs> It's actually a scar from when they removed something. I don't need to go in there, but um, yeah, it's still protrudes, so I don't know why I bothered. But yeah, this is a really light dress. Really like it for work, but more of a casual day at work rather than had an important meeting with the boss this week. So um, this is much better for that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm enjoying their items, I have to say they were the one stall that really impressed me definitely so quite happy with this dress very comfy very nice for like a saturday out shopping something like that i love the sleeves they feel quite nice they're not tight around the arms in fact they're maybe a little bit too loose so yeah fantastic I actually wore it for a meal out that night and i really really loved it and i got lots of compliments so i was really happy with that the other thing that caught my eye immediately was this. Just show you. It's a little ditzy print, almost 70s style. It is see through. <laughs> um, ditzy print, high neck. Well, it's got a tie neck, which is really, really nice. It's got elastic round the neck as well. It's got elastic on the cuffs. And it's like um, a, a sort of 70s style top. It's a size 24 that I picked up because I can usually wear a 24 top. This one is slightly tight around the bottom, but it's loose around the top. So I did decide to get this size and, you know, dependent on where my weight is at any time of the month, it may be that this fits. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I will show you that now. So the next thing from Papaya Curve was this top. It is a little bit see-through. I wear it with a vest <laughs> on normal occasions. And it's like this little ditzy print, very 70s style, 60s, 70s, that sort of thing. And it's got these, I always think of like little house on the prairie sort of accent to it. The little frills up here. Um, it's got elasticated sleeves at the cuff. But if they are slightly short, they're not too long. Um, it's tight around here, but I wear things tucked into skirts anyway. So I would probably wear this tucked into a skirt um, like I have here. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really lovely top. I wore it to work with a high-waisted skirt the other week. Really, really like it. I'm so pleased with this. I should have gone up a size. The problem is, if I go up a size, it doesn't fit here. So it's a bit big around the bust area. Um, yeah, it needs to maybe have come out a little bit more around the bottom area, but that's gonna happen with me because I am a pear shape. So this has really, um, I saw this first and I've actually ordered a dress in this material because I really, really like this print. There's something really nostalgic about it. Then <clears throat> I tried on Still from Papaya Curve, this skirt in a size 24, and it's this, um, <clears throat> it's almost like a pleat, like a soft pleat with silver thread running through it, like really glittery, absolutely wonderful for the festive season. It's got a really stretchy band. I chose the 24 because it had a stretchy band and because it's that roomy material. Had it been a non-stretchy band or um, the material wasn't stretchy or it wasn't pleated, I might have gone for a size 26. But this fits really, really nice. And for me, it's one of those that I'll probably wear leading up to Christmas, uh, but maybe not the Christmas party. But that's all right. I might do. It would be perfect for some people for the Christmas party. I just have an outfit already. So the next item is this from the Matalan part um, of, the, the show, of the show, of the event. Matalan were there with Papaya Curve. Sorry, itchy nose. And I've never heard of Papaya Curve. If anybody else has been into Matalan, do you remember Rogers and Rogers or Jeffrey Rogers? Anyway, 
so <coughs> excuse me i've got such a bad cough still um so yeah this is from that range and i just thought it'd be really good during the festive period to have a pleated skirt that's got some glitz in it really comfortable nice and elastic -y. this is a size 24 and it's definitely true to size um it's a really nice fit actually i think it skins if i'd have gone bigger it would have looked a bit bizarre so i think this one is yeah this one's definitely one that for the festive period not for like a christmas party but more for just during the festive period going out maybe to christmas market or something like that so if you want a little bit of glitz and it could be just for every day we then went to the um topsy curvy stand and i have known the topsy curvy girls for a really long time i met them at plus north they came to my event style xl twice and um, they've always supported me and i will always support them and we bought me and claire matching tunics these are red tartan ones had glittery ones but these ones have got a bit more room in them it says size 18 to 24 it was 13 pounds and this was absolutely perfect for it's going to probably be either our christmas eve or christmas day or sometime in the festive period we'll wear it at the same time so that's what this is and i'll show you what that looks like every year claire and i buy the same tunic or jumper for Christmas. We've always done it. It's a tradition. We have a wardrobe now full of Christmas jumpers, Christmas tunics, and now we have this tartan one, which was from Topsy Curvy and their stall. Um, it's Claire's got one, I've got one, exactly the same print. We love red tartan because everything in our Christmas sort of armory is red tartan. Um, you know, we've got accents of it everywhere or what they called um <laughs> stockings they're red tartan and rupert also has a red tartan collar so we went for this now it isn't my normal style but you know at christmas you just want to be comfortable this also from the topsy curvy stall they kindly gifted me a <clears throat> um an outfit they wanted to give me so let me not an outfit a dress a, well a skirt let me get there oh i've just had it on today that's why it's getting all let me just get this sorted oh my god i'm losing the absolute plot here right so they gifted me this lovely suspender skirt so it's got the ruffles on the suspenders and then it comes out into a skater skirt and I wanted to try the leopard print one. They didn't have any left in my size, they were too big. They advised me to size down and I'm so pleased I did because this really does fit. It's got a lot of stretch in it. It's a nice heavy jersey material. It is a really good fit. Um, and what's nice about this is you can wear your favorite tops underneath it. And it's so nice if you've got tops that you don't really wear very often or you want if you, if you're like me and you don't wear jeans and you but you want to wear t-shirts this is ideal so they've actually just added a few more things to their range have a look at theirs because there's so many things on there that are similar to this so if you like this style definitely check out the others in this style some of them don't have the frills on the um suspender but these do and i absolutely love this and i have to say thank you so much to joe because i really appreciate that you have um been such a support a support of my channel a support of everything that i've done in the past years and i really 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 wish you well you're an absolute diamond so thank you for that this is the suspender skirt from topsy curvy i'm actually wearing it with a pink clove top that i hauled I'll link the video below <laughs> um, or above in a card whichever comes first um so yeah this is a pink uh, this is a topsy curvy suspender skirt so it's still a skirt and it's got these suspendery bits here um and it's got sorry my hair gets in the way somebody commented about this let me move out of the way so um 
it's got like a ruffly feature here. My biggest piece of advice for this clothing, which they gave me on the day, was to size down. So I'm a 24, 26. They had 22, 24, 26, 28. I would go for a 22, 24 if you are a 24, 26 or even a 28. There is plenty of room in this and it just feels so nice. I've worn it twice now, so I've given it a good go. This is for work, actually. So, yeah, absolutely loving it. And then finally, we have this, which is from the What Laura Loves, Laura Loves Winter Collection with Kvissa. So, let me give you a little bit of a backstory to this. I was desperate to get hold of this skirt. It's a, um, what are they called? It's a pencil skirt and it's got like a pleather um, panel at the front and then it's really stretchy at the sides. I wanted a size 26, but they'd sold out. I then went online to order a size 26, but they'd sold out. Um, the only one they had was a size 24 and the button was a little bit wobbly. I tried it on while I was there and I put it on over um, some shapewear and a top and I figured that with the stretch it would be okay. So um, I'm still not sure. Um, I think the thing is with things like this is that if I go too big it looks silly I'll definitely have to think about whether I'm going to return this or whether I am going to try and work out how to fit into it better. It isn't bad. Um, the issue I've got is this band at the top. Um, I think because the button's a bit funny, it just doesn't fit right. It keeps rolling down and that isn't very comfortable. Maybe I've just got to find a way to wear it properly. But other than that, it fits really nicely. The stretch here, it's got a great length on it. it. The split isn't too high at the back. So maybe it's just me. I did see somebody wearing this the other way around though, but the label is at the back here. So I don't know, maybe I was wearing it the long, the wrong, the wrong way round, the wrong way round. I can never say that. So yeah, just have a look and let me know what you think. This skirt is from Kavissa and I really desperately wanted this skirt, uh, so much so that I bought a size 24 and I think I probably should have sized up, but I know that eventually this will be the right size for me. So um, the button was a bit broken when I got it. It's not too bad. It is stretchy on the sides. Um, even this little pleather bit in the middle is a little bit stretchy. I think for me though, I am going to have to, eat. I was wearing shapewear on the day actually and I think that helped. Probably have to wear a little bit of shapewear underneath but I was desperate to get hold of this because I saw it on What Laura Loves and I just thought it was a really good length, a really good style and although it isn't a perfect fit, it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. It's comfortable. I don't know if I could sit down in it though. That's the telling. <laughs> That's what will we'll, we'll be the uh, thing that we'll we'll tell. But I would definitely wear this for work or for a, not a night out, but a meal out or something with a really nice top. This would go with it, but I'd have to wear a vest. So we'll see. But yeah, quite liking this outfit. That was everything. For some reason, I thought there was something else, but there mustn't have been. I feel like there's something missing here, but hey ho, I, no, I'm pretty sure there isn't. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Are there any outfits that you liked, any that you didn't, any way that you're going to check out? Um, if you do, let me know if there's anything that you want any um, answers to. If you've got any queries, just comment down below. I will definitely give you a heads up. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.